Hi, I'm Amaka of Skywell Beauty and today we're gonna have breakfast in the village, yes. Today, I'm taking you through the process of preparing one of the most famous porridge here in the village. This porridge is so famous that it has spread across all of Accra and it's called Hausa Kuku. Without wasting much time, let's get started. Just a quick one before we get started. <laughs> Mm. 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 I remove the uh, small, small stones in it. So after removing the stones from it, separating the uh, miller from the stone, then we don't wash it very well and then send it to the grinding mill. Grinding mill. Yeah, no electricity. Wow. That, okay. that, that is the sound coming from you. Mm -hmm. I think that's the first process. This is the first process from here. Yeah. I'm working on a parasol, I'm going to make a sense. That's what they add into it. Nanzua. Pepper. Nanzua. Jalaka. Nanzua. So I think there are four ingredients they will add to the millet. I should even mention one point. That because this one is very costly for now. Mm. So she's adding a little meat to it. Mm. So, like, if it's like only this one, you would have seen the color very different.
Okay. Okay, guys, it's finally done. Here's the porridge. It's time for breakfast. So I have this bowl and this spoon. There's also this, it's called Kulikli and it's said to go well with the porridge, so let's give it a go. This feels like a soup spoon. Okay, here we go. best porridge I've ever had. I've tried porridge before from Accra and this <laughs> this is heavenly. It's unreal. What? Oh my god. It tastes like good health. Wow. Why is it that the food in the north is so different and tasty? Like, what's going on here? Is it planned? I'm yet to try one single food that isn't off the chain amazing. Is it because it's so fresh? Like, there's no old food from farm to table. Every single thing is from farm to table. Like, I've, I've had cocoa before, but this one is on another level. And with this kuli kuli, this is a granite um, biscuit snack. It's amazing. Wow. Wow, guys. Hmm. Well, if you make your way to Ghana, I, I actually recommend moving here. I don't see why not like the peace the joy the family the fresh food the culture the togetherness the beauty the arts everything here is extra special I don't see why you wouldn't want to stay here or live here or at least visit hmm. I can go on and on and on and on Like this is health, you're eating health. No GMOs, no chemicals, no artificial food. You don't have to worry about cancer. I mean, and I know some people may comment about, oh, they are not hygienic. The place they prepare the food is not hygienic, it's not neat, is this, is that. My question then is, with all the concerns and everything, this is still healthier than the cleanest GMO food out there so I don't understand the arguments because this is raw fresh made from scratch natural all the ingredients here are natural and you know you're eating health even at a very old age you can still see them walking strong their eyesight is good you guys have rambled enough this is the real life and I told you this is the real life I wasn't kidding and I told you this is the chop life I wasn't joking you've seen it for yourself thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this episode do not forget to subscribe subscribe because there are more amazing content coming your way like <laughs> you don't want to miss an episode and do me a favor share this video to your friends share them to your family share them to those who are thinking about moving to Ghana and wondering all I see on the internet is Accra, Accra, Accra. Are there other parts of this country that I can explore? And what can I find there? Let them know. This is the Rooted Experience. I'm Sky Bell, and I will see you in my next one.